All right, what I have here is the configuration for controlling a brushed DC motor using the Parallax HB25. So here's my brushed DC motor. Here's the Parallax HB25. This battery here is providing power to the DC motor. I have a breadboard for making the connections between my HB25 and my Arduino. Then I have a separate battery source, battery pack for my Arduino. The Arduino is capable of having a 12 volt input and I could have added in an extra connection there. Not having one handy, I simply am going to use this battery pack. The HP25 has three sets of connections. There is the M1 and the M2. Those make your connections to your brushed motor. And the actual connections don't make a difference if the motor is turning in the wrong direction when you give it a command that you want to be turning in a specific direction you can simply reverse those leads or you can just simply change the command in the program to make it turn in the opposite direction so these are your motor uh, connections on the other side you have the connections for the battery this is the battery again that's going to be powering the motor and they are labeled plus and minus plus obviously is going to go to the positive end of your battery and the minus to the negative end of your battery. The a third connection is for a standard three-wire servo cable. It is labeled, and there are two sets of connections. Uh, there is a W, an R, and a B. There's also a jumper. The W is for white, R is for red, B is for black. The white could be a different color depending upon your servo cable. Mine is white corresponding to white, but sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're orange. That's your, your signal wire the red for your pos uh, positive 5 and your B black for your ground connection. So that's going over to my breadboard where I've made those three connections back to my Arduino. The black from the servo cable is my black wire going to ground. My middle connection which is the red wire on the servo cable is this red wire going to plus 5 on the Arduino. And then the signal wire which is white on my servo cable, yellow here, is going over to my digital port 3. Now it's connected to a digital port that will support PWM where I can control standard servos and then on this particular mega board that's pins 2 to 13 so 3 will work just fine. Alright so what I need to provide this HP25 are standard servo signals. I'm using the servo library and simply writing the correct width pulse. A pulse width of 1.5 milliseconds will cause this to be a, receive a neutral or center pulse, therefore in a stopped position. And typically you can go from about a 1 millisecond pulse to a 2 millisecond pulse uh, to get your different directions and uh, in between there to get your different speeds. It will vary with your motor, it will vary a little bit with your HP25. For my particular setup, I found that I can actually go to about a 0.8 millisecond pulse all the way up to about a 2.2 millisecond pulse. So it will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, from motor to motor, is exactly what those values will be. Now I've already programmed the Arduino. You can see that I don't have my USB cable, so my board is going to need power for my battery pack. As soon as I do that, it's going to begin running the program and I simply send a variety of different pulses to this motor. I have it going full speed in one direction, full speed in the other direction, and then move it through a couple different speeds in that one direction. And I do have a little piece of tape on here. You'll be able to see some of those. You'll also be able to see the motor uh, as it goes from full one direction, full speed in the opposite direction. It's going to be twitching here a little bit. So let me go ahead and make my connections. This is my motor power. Remember that is the power that's going to be uh, supplied to the motor. Uh, LED comes on indicating things are working correctly. A fan you may or may not be able to hear is on. Uh, in actuality this would be tipped in a position or position in such a way that that fan is actually able to uh, better cool and circulate the air. But for demonstration purposes you can see this particular interface here. I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Arduino here to the battery pack. and there just switch directions. It's running now in the opposite direction, slower speed, slower speed, and now stop. Again, now running full speed one way, full speed the other way. Back the other way to slower speed and a little bit slower speed. So it's sending those different pulses. 
Once I send the pulse, I don't need to with the Arduino to keep on creating that pulse. The Arduino handles that in the background. And it also would not be necessary with the HB25. Uh, if your microcontroller is not one that once you send it a pulse, it will keep sending that pulse. Once the HB25 receives a pulse, it will continue on its own to send that pulse to the motor. It will actually use that pulse to generate the current and voltage that it needs to that motor without any subsequent follow-up on that. Now, if you need to change the direction or stop the motor, then you would send that single pulse that would then perform that necessary action. So HB25 is on its own just really needing that single pulse. The Arduino of course is able to do that in the background so there's no harm in doing that as well. Alright so that concludes on how to use the HB25 to control both direction and speed of a brushed DC motor using the Arduino. Alright thank you.